Uh, did you say in a Pokemon Satan video that you wanted to learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, I know a little bit of how to play. I don't think I ever said that, though. At least not in that series, I don't think. I don't think I did. I might have? I don't know. Uh, probably not, considering right now my my opinion on Yu-Gi-Oh is, yeah, it's cool, I wouldn't mind learning it someday. Aha! We're back at Mysia, and now the sell price is better. We're only making a slight profit, but it's a profit. Oh my god, see, it was worth holding on. This is this is why I say it. It has only been, like, 20 minutes since I said I should not sell it early. And I was right. See? Sunk cost fallacy doesn't work in video games like this. Don't fall for it. Don't let big sunk cost fallacy hold you down. They're trying to manipulate your brain. You need tinfoil hats to protect yourself. So you have 771 experience. All right, let's make some money. Okay. Yay, we're almost at a level in trade. If we had made like another dollar, <laughs> we would have had enough. All right, and the oil price was 882, gotcha. Jesus, you remember the exact number? Not a profit here. Okay, we made a profit off the furs, even if it was like $200. Probably just not going to trade too much for a little... Ah, but I want trading points. Um, maybe I'll make... Maybe it'll be easier to get that going once I can afford a caravan. I should focus a little more on combat for the next little while, maybe, you know? <laughs> you dream of becoming one of the five Ds. That's an old joke. I love that one. Traveling villagers have good horse prices. I've noticed. We do try to we, we try to check in when I remember on the on the local uh, villagers. Sometimes they're just selling like cargo horses, and the cargo horses like it's still a great price, but we don't really need cargo horses. But uh, if they were selling some like you know just any kind of horse that actually can be ridden in combat, I appreciate. We need those because that's what's gonna speed us up. Okay. I need hardwood, but this price is terrible, and I'm not willing to pay for that. Let's go pick some fights. How many days left do we have on this? Six days? Okay. We'll hit them up early and just see what happens. And we'll pick fights on our way, like these looters. They're moving at 3.4. We're going at 3.5. Uh, we could waste a lot of time trying to chase them. We'll chase them so as long as they're going in the correct direction that we were going anyway. Is this going to be episode 19 on YouTube? I don't know what episodes it'll be, actually. I don't remember. Oh, come on, we can catch him, we can catch him. Come on, come on, come on, come on! <laughs> there we go. Whoa. We were just barely faster than them. Okay, I want my guys to get a little bit of fighting in here. But I do want to soften these guys up, you know? Okay. We'll see what I can do. I'm going in solo. I'm going to try not to be too risky. Boink! <laughs> uh, say, I'm not going to be too risky, and I go right through the middle with a bow. Uh, I just wanted to see if I could get away with that. That was kind of funny. <laughs> Uh, softening them up a little, you know? I just want those skill points, you know? I'm, like, so close to a few perks. And I know some of the perks aren't implemented, but some of them are. So I want them. Bold move. Bold is an interesting way to say stupid, but I appreciate the politeness. <laughs> Here we go. Don't you throw rocks at them. They're gonna stun my guys. Ah! Yay! We did it! <laughs> well, none of our guys died. Okay, okay. A borrowed troop got wounded, but either than that, we're good. No wonder that sword is called our early retirement. I know, right? We weren't going that fast. We have low single weapon skill, and we were still hitting for, like, what, 130 damage? 
in fairness, they were just wearing peasants' clothing. It's not like they- it's not like they were armored targets. I'm sure against a proper armored knight that wouldn't have been quite as smooth, but you know. Okay, a bard troop got hurt and none of them got enough experience to form up after that, but they- I'm sure they made a little progress. Oh, hey, there's a tournament in town. Oh, sorry, stretching my back. Okay, what do you want to do? Artisan can't sell their product legally. I'm not getting involved in crime. Gang leader needs weapons. That's definitely involved in crime. That guy's name is The Robber. Uh, let's, let's do the tournament. When there's a tournament in town, it's always worth doing. We're with a borrowed troop and a militia. Oh no. Okay, but this guy here looks like he might be important. We're on red team. Oh, I'm on foot. Oh no, okay. Get down from here! Eh. Ah! Jesus, that nearly took me out. Get off your horse, ah. I'm just trying to really keep an eye on where all of my enemies are, you know? Fuck, uh... <laughs> oh, I got taken out by my unborrowed troop. Does he get experience for that? He better get experience for that. <laughs> I'm trying to train that guy. Yeah, I, I'm lost. <laughs> That's a shame. He didn't gain any ex Oh, no, he did gain experience for that. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, he did gain... I, I think he did gain experience for that. I think. Okay, uh, I kind of want to just keep moving. Honestly, we we need to level these guys up so fast that I don't think we have time to sit around and heal. Is that place getting raided? That's where I'm trying to stand in a quest. Who's raiding it? These guys? You want to fucking stop? I have a quest there. You, talk to me. Don't get involved is my only choice. Come on, man. Why? Why does this have to happen to me? Okay, sharpshooter. That'll be awesome whenever they implement it. Man. Thanks for the sub, by the way, Doomy. Ugh. Balls. <laughs> right. Right when I'm ready to, like, hand some dudes in. I spend all this time, I come all the way back, raided by some douche. I'm not gonna be able to hand it in because of that. I'm just going to some local towns for tournaments now. Alright. So what's this? We're getting the spear out of this. Okay. Uh, I'm with a noble's son. That could be good. I don't know. I got a bow! It's on foot, though, which I'm not thrilled about. Ooh, that was a good shot. Oh, yeah, don't move at all. I gotcha. That guy should have clued on to what I was doing there. Okay, sweet. This is going really well for us. Okay, who's aiming at who here? Okay. I don't want that cheap shot guy beating me. There we go. I want to cheap shot him. <laughs> Keeping you sane while you're working from home? That's awesome. I'm happy I can make a positive impact on some level. Okay, four and four. We got this. We're getting some peasants and footmen. I think I'm gonna be okay. And I'm on a horse! Hell yeah! Oh, they're on horses too. Okay, everyone's on a horse this round. I got a good shot on that guy. He's probably almost dead. I should finish him off. Oh, uh, no, no, get, get, get! Ah! <laughs> oh, that was 
was a great kill. Okay. Yeah, you get over here. You get, you, ah! Oh, come on. That was a headshot. He's still going? There. Oh, whoa, he almost took my horse out. That did a lot of damage. There. Well, that guy was a peasant. I don't feel like I accomplished much on that one. Uh, how is this fake? You mean like, how is this non-lethal? I know, right? These are clearly metal weapons, blood going everywhere. People are getting hurled backwards off their horses. <laughs> like, it's so great. Okay, I feel like I might be at a disadvantage on this one. Oh, who knows? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. oh that arrow went right by me. I'm just hoping my dude can hold off the melee guy for long enough that I can take out their archer. Come on. Oh no, this is not good. Okay. I don't like this. Ah. Okay, okay. This is not fun. Come on. Come on, I got this, I got this. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I shouldn't have committed to that one. That could have gotten me killed. Damn it. So close. I should have turned at the last second. Ah. Uh. All right. I didn't need need the spear, but it would have been fun. It's good practice. Honestly, the tournaments are one of my favorite parts of the game. It's low risk, high reward, and even if you lose, you might get some skill points, you know? Because you're still hitting, you, it's giving you a wide range of weapons and stuff, so sometimes you level up some skills you don't normally use that much. It's really fun. And most importantly, it's an opportunity for me to get a little bit of athletics, and we don't get many opportunities for that. And athletics is real nice, even if you're mostly horse-based like I am. <laughs> use double team. You'll be hard to hit. For a second, I misread that as you'll hit harder. And I was going to say that's not true unless it's Gen 1. Because of the, the badge boost glitch. Really enjoying the content? That's awesome. I'm happy you're having fun. Hold, I just need to turn this fan on. I'm dying in here. It's so hot. There we go. I've got one of those Dyson bladeless fans. They're the nicest thing. They're the nicest thing if you do recordings and the room gets really hot. Because those, those Dyson bladeless fans, they're really quiet. Not sponsored, by the way. I'm, I'm sure those of you who've been around forever know I've had one for like seven years or something. It's right there. It's just off camera. It's really great, though. It's really, really quiet for a fan. And it pushes a good amount of air. I mean, you can make it loud if you want to turn it way up, but, you know. I like it. Okay, so I wouldn't mind getting another companion. Um, I feel like that's a good use of our money at this point, honestly. How many companions can we have right now? Four? We, we have two, we can have four. I'd like to get more. If anything, I could pawn some of them off to go do quests for me. Might not be a bad idea, you know? Start to build up a proper clan here. I'm sure any Australians in the chat can tell you how quiet Dyson fans are. I've heard they're really popular in Australia. I mean, tell you that Monster Hunter video I put out became my channel's best video last night. That's fucking awesome. I'm happy that you have a non-Pokemon one that's blowing up really big. Because, like, obviously, I want any one of your videos to do well. But, like, if it's a non-Pokemon one, then that's a really good sign right there that you can branch out into things that are unrelated to what I'm already doing. Because, you know, we already are going to have the crossover based on everything we've done together over the last decade. If you have shit blowing up that's completely 100% independent of my channel, then the channel's probably going to be really successful. Because, you know, it, it also has the crossover on top of that. I, I imagine you're probably going to be ready to get monetized on that channel this week, then. It could, like, literally be any day that they approve you for monetization at this point, because you are so close to the requirements. Yeah, we're going to sub to Gooset. That's Brandon. Godfrey Games. Godfrey Games Square. Brandon War Zero. He's had, had about a hundred fucking names over the course of my channel. I think we all know that the only canon name, though, is Allbran. Which I really wish was your username. 
But you'd probably get cease and desisted one day for that, right? Like, it's inevitable. This guy needs help dealing with step bandits. Ah, oh, but step bandits are such a bitch to fight. I don't want to fight them. I'd love to help a local village clear out their bandit problem. But they're step bandits. Those dudes are on horseback. They're actually really dangerous. They fucking swarm you like crazy. It's these wicked hit and runs. I can't afford to spend 123 bucks on every horse. Just to upgrade my troops. I don't have that kind of money. So, who's this guy in the tavern? Is he any good? No, he's devious. I don't want a devious guy, even though he's a very talented warrior, and I do need a... I need more warriors. I need some bodyguards, you know? 862 for oil. Thanks for the reminder. Never seen horses on a hideout attack. Oh, can they not be mounted on an, a hideout attack? You know what? If you're saying that, then maybe I do want to take this quest. I'll give it a try. Okay. Yeah. A lot of men around here are turning to... Yeah, yeah. Bandits! Let's say two groups of step bandits. Oh, I need to hunt down two groups of them? Then they would be on horseback if they're in groups. Um, I can have my companions do it. One, uh, I will have one of my companions and eight men. I can sacrifice that, but not right now. I need to have, uh, companions that are more expendable. Because I need my scout, I need my surgeon. But if I could get a guy who's just a straight warrior, I could send him off on missions on my behalf for the sake of the clan. If the person A conflicts with yours, they'll want to leave, right? Yeah, eventually, because I'll be doing- I'll be making moral decisions that they won't be agreeing with, and they'll just get more and more pissed off, they'll piss off other people in the party, and eventually people are just gonna start ditching it. So I'd rather have a pretty uniform party, you know? Anyone in mind? No, I'm just kinda tavern hopping right now and seeing what opportunities lay in front of me, you know? That village got messed up. I'll go visit it, but I don't think there's anyone that's going to be there to visit it now. Nope. Yeah, that place got messed up. Most risky weapons in the game? I'm not sure what you mean. Do step bandits drop horses? Yes, they should. Um... They're not guaranteed, of course, but you know. There goes your paycheck? Yeah, tell me about it. I'm not getting my money back on that. I mean, I, I probably get to keep the borrowed troops, I guess, but like... The quest is gonna run out in three days, and the place has been burned, so... There's nothing I can really do about that. It's a real bummer. So I guess we'll just start heading out west again. Next Pokemon challenge? Uh, I say at the end of all my videos what the next one will be. Um, next one that's going up is Mistrevis, I think. Okay. I just want to get out this way. So what I'm going to do is just click a city. And we're going to start marching and we're going to see what opportunities we get along the way. Any reason it didn't let you interfere? I'm not sure, actually. I love that I pretty much get a whole point of stewardship every single day. Just based on food variety and me being the, uh, the quartermaster. Feels pretty good. Can you check if you can mark the quest? Which quest? Like, I can... I can mark where to go on it. I know where to go on it, but the village was raided, so there's nothing to do. Where's the place I clicked again so it follows with the thing again? There we go. I haven't been in this area in a long time. Oh, hold on, sea raiders. Oh, I can't catch up to them. No, they're way faster than me. I'll hit up this town up here, though, in the Northern Empire. Oh, hey, there's a royal guy up there I can talk to about a quest. Sure. 
And I found a Sea Bandit hideout. Sea, sea Raiders are tough, though. They wear actual metal armor. They're pretty tough. Sometimes they carry bows and, like, throwing axes and javelins. They can mess you up. I don't want to go picking a fight with them unless it's in a very small group. I'm at peace with both sides in this, so I can't interfere. That, That's probably why. Yeah, that makes sense, doesn't it? Who's this guy? He's uh, the rightful emperor. So this is the em emperor of the Northern Empire. Okay. Is the, is the Northern Empire the one that is like a military dictatorship? Or is it a military republic? I'm trying to remember. I think it's like they're, they're the, the remnants of the empire who believe that the leaders should be picked amongst the, uh, the commanders, you know? Or the generals or whatever. Something like that. Okay, tell me about the Battle of Pandrake. D D Derek. Panderic. Pandrake. Not sure. Hi, Rick. Hi, Reward. That's the best typo I've ever heard. Hi, Rick. Hi, Reward. Okay, high risk, high reward weapons. I genuinely still don't even know what you what you mean by that. Like, like a weapon that hits really hard but leaves you vulnerable if you miss? If so, yeah, two-handed weapons tend to be like that. They tend to hit really hard if you hit with them. But uh, it's not like you don't, you don't have a shield with them, so it's pretty hard to block, you know? You gotta actually do directional blocking very carefully with those. Yeah, two-handed axe. That's a risky weapon. They're a little bit shorter reach than a lot of two-handed swords would be. But they hit like a motherfucker. You could really break a shield with that thing. And they're real fun. Okay. Uh, junior officer of the staff, people say uh, much about the battle that betrays the lack of understanding. Oh, that betrays a lack of understanding. He had obligations to avenge the Batanians' attack on our land. He marched out with all the force uh, he could gather. The Vlandians betrayed us, but that's what you'd expect from honorless barbarians. Fortune favored the enemy. What matters is that we did what honor required. Okay, that's an interesting perspective on it. Hmm. So his stance on it... Yeah, his stance, he seems to be a loyalist to the Emperor, and he thinks that the Emperor made a good decision based on the information he had, but that, you know, it didn't work out. That's an interesting perspective. I don't think any of the other lords we've talked to have had that one. Can we sell the oil? No! <laughs> of course we never can. Jesus. Not even a guy I can hire in the tavern, is there? Capture my bounty hunters. I don't want to get involved. I just want to keep moving west. Uh, what's the next major city? This one. Zero days left on the quest I can't do because the village burnt got burnt to the ground. I swear to God, if I get a D if I get some kind of like uh, negative modifier for failing that quest, I'm gonna be pissed. The village got burnt down by someone. Like uh, I got no control over that. Oh come on! My relations with him went down for failing the quest. That's bullshit. I had no control over that, and they know it. I didn't lose the barred troops though, so at least at least I got to keep them, but they suck, so I don't want them, and they're slowing down my party. Can I sell them? I think if I become a mercenary for a country, I can give them away. Yeah, West, you can buy some some hardwood pretty cheap, can't ya? Ah, not this city, though. Gotta go a little farther west. Hold on, can I sell the oil here? No. 
God damn. Not making any money off this oil. Consumable. You know what? I bet you that's part of it. Does it count as a food product? All right, I'll just hold on to it. Whatever. We're never making our money back on that. If I if we've already lost some, then we're not making our money back there. Are they selling horses at a good price though? No. Yeah, not really. Damn. What are the troops? You want to train borrowed troops for a quest, but the quest failed because the village got burnt down and so the time ran out. What are you gonna do? No one in the tavern. Ah, come on, man. I just want a companion. All right, well, there's the pass up here. We'll go up there, and then we can probably start getting some good trades going. Are we faster than those bandits? Slightly. Probably not worth fighting them, though. Yeah, I'm not going to catch those guys. Scouting skill, good. It's mostly because we're going through a lot of forests, I think. I know that that can affect it. No one in the tavern. Come on. Okay. Uh, what do we got here? Horse price is here. That's a pony. Does that even count? Used for increasing speed. What? Does that actually count? That counts and that's dirt cheap. Oh my god. Yes, I will pay a thousand bucks to buy tw uh, 24 of these. Oh my god. Wow, those are way cheaper than anywhere else. Our speed just skyrocketed because so many of our foot troops can ride a horse now. Oh my god. I'm going to start upgrading the uh, nomads finally. I can upgrade all of my nomads to be on horseback now. Yo, oh my god, finally. We're getting somewhere. We got our horse archers again, everybody. Uh, and we have some leftover horses, so these infantry aren't slowing us down as much either. Our speed is seven. I think everybody is on horseback. So we have 10 guys who are infantry. Do we have 10 horses left? We have eight horses. Nearly everybody is on horseback now. Thank God. I think I want to just dump a couple guys then. These bar troops who haven't leveled up yet, I don't want them anymore. They can, they can go. I'm dismissing them. There. Oh man, we can finally get to bandit hunting again because we're fast. We can really get our pick of who we're fighting. That is awesome. Oh, that feels good. Wasn't your feel like speed like 3.5 before? Yeah, now it's 7.3. It's awesome. They're gonna upgrade into veteran bar troops. Yeah, I don't even need them. Uh, oh, it's great. Oh, it feels good to finally have that. Okay. As much as I'd love to go around hunting bandits now, uh, I am low on time and I gotta get working on some other stuff today, but the next stream? Oh man, it's it's time to start doing some damage. It's time to start really barbarian hunting, wiping out hideouts, you know, riding around. We gotta be, we're going to be the savior of merchants for a little while. That'll make us some easy cash, get us some easy experience, and get us ready to become a mercenary for, I'm thinking, the Batanians. I, I like how they fight. I think I want to be higher on as a mercenary for their army just for a little bit, and we'll see how it goes. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.